Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the issue where your laptop or computer keeps crashing. So if you're having issues where your computer is freezing or randomly crashing, then there's a couple of things we can do to go and fix this issue. Now, the first step is just to open up the start menu on your computer, go and search for the word CMD, and then right click on the command prompt and run this as administrator. Now, what we're going to do is type in the following command, SFC space forward slash scan now, and then press enter. Now, what this will do is scan all of your core Windows system files just to ensure that nothing's corrupted or damaged and if it does find an issue with any of these files then it will automatically go and repair them so you'll just need to wait for this verification process to get to 100% now once that scans finished we're going to run another command and this time we're going to type in DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup hyphen image space forward slash restore health and then press enter now this is going to do a similar thing to the previous scan it's just going to check your files to ensure that everything's in order so once again just go and wait for this to get to 100 percent now once you've done that open up the start menu on your computer go and search for settings and click on the settings window in the left hand side select windows update and click on the blue check for updates button if any updates are found on your computer then you'll need to go and install these as these are essential for making sure your computer runs as smoothly as possible we're then going to click on apps in the left hand side scroll down and click on startup and here you'll find all of the applications that start up when you first turn on your computer now you just need to go through this list and try to disable as many of these applications as possible so anything you don't need starting up when you first turn on your computer just go ahead and disable them like so so you can see actually all of mine here are disabled and turned off and once you've done that you can close out of this window now the next thing we're going to do is check our computer for any malware or viruses. So go and open up an internet browser and type in Malwarebytes and press enter. Click on the top website malwarebytes.com and click on the free download button in the top right hand side. You'll then just need to click on your downloads folder in the top right hand side and you'll need to go and run this setup file to install this to your computer. Once you have installed Malwarebytes it should look something similar to this. So next to the scanner click on the scan button and this is going to scan your computer for any viruses or malware. If anything is detected then you can automatically remove them using this tool. Once you've done that we're going to open Open up the start menu on your computer, go and search for run and click on the run icon. Now type in MS config and press enter. Go and click on the services tab and make sure to check this box down at the bottom, hide all Microsoft services. This is really important. And then go and select disable all. Once you've done that, press apply and OK. And then you can go and close out of this window. You'll then need to restart your computer and you can check to see if that solved your crashing issue. If you have tried all of the steps in this video and it's still not working the final solution is to open up the start menu go and search for settings and click on the settings window in the left hand side click on system scroll down and click on recovery next to reset this pc click the reset button and you'll have two options here to remove everything on your computer or you can go and keep my files so this is the option we're going to be choosing here and what this is going to do is remove all of the applications and settings on your computer but it will keep all of your personal data so this is kind of like a soft reset on your pc so i'm going to go ahead and click on this click on cloud download now by doing this this is going to reinstall windows onto your computer like i said it will keep all of your personal data but any third-party applications will be removed so if you're happy to do this just go through the steps on the screen and that should fix any crashing issues you were experiencing if you did find this video helpful then let me know in the comments and i'll see you in the next